Welcome to DP Tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to create a dynamic drop down list using named ranges in Excel. This is an essential trick for anyone working with data validation forms or interactive spreadsheets. We will create a dynamic drop down list of products based on the category selected. We have the data like this from A1 to B13. First thing we need to do is convert this data range into a data table. Select data from A1 to B13 and go to insert tab from the ribbon and click on table or you can simply press keyboard shortcut as Ctrl T. Click OK by selecting this headers. Adjust the table design as per your wish. Now by selecting the table, go to the insert tab again and click on pivot table. Choose the location as I1 in the existing worksheet and click OK. Drag the category field to the row section like this. Now go to formulas tab. Click on name manager. Click on new. Name it as category. And in the refers to section, type as equals to offset. Open the parenthesis. Select I1 as the location. Comma 1 that is one row below. Comma 0. In the same column comma, count A, open the parenthesis, select the column I, close the parenthesis, minus 2, comma 1, close the parenthesis, and click on OK. Copy this pivot table in column I and paste it here in column M. Go to field list, drag product and place it below the category in the row section. Go to Design tab, click on Report Layout, select the Show in Tabular form. Again click on Report Layout and select the Repeat All Item Labels option. Now your pivot table will look like this. Again go to the Formulas tab, click on Name Manager, click on New, name it as Product and in the Refers To section type as Equals To Offset, open the parenthesis, select M1 as the lookup value, comma, match, open the parenthesis, select D1 cell, comma, select M column, comma, 0, close the parenthesis, minus 1, comma, 1, comma, the height should be count ifs, open the parenthesis, select column M, comma, give the condition as D1, close the parenthesis, comma, 1, which is my width, close the parenthesis, and click OK. Select a cell where you want the drop down list, that is D1, go to the data, data validation. Select list, in the source field type equals to category and click OK. For creating the dependent drop down for products, select cell E1 where you want the product list to change dynamically. Go to data, data validation, select list again. In the source field enter the formula as equals to product and click OK. Now selecting the category in D1 will automatically filter the relevant products in cell E1. For example, let me select clothing in cell D1 and in E1 we can see the options as jacket, jeans, sneakers and t-shirt. Similarly, try changing the category field and you will observe that the product names getting changed here in the drop down. Now when you add a new category or product, the drop down list updates automatically once you refresh the entire pivot tables. Let me add one more product as skirts in the category clothing and go to data tab, click on refresh all. Now once you select the category in cell D1 as clothing, you will observe that the skirts getting added into the drop down automatically. And that's it. You have now learned how to create a dependent drop down list in Excel using named ranges and the pivot table offset functions. Use this method to automate 
data entry, reduce errors in selection, keep your list updated dynamically. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more Excel tips. Comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.